Yo! Well, here it is, my low buck build. Yeah, it's got a torn seat though, and I don't like it. I don't like the seats at all. They're crap, so I'm gonna replace them. This thing is definitely made for the little people. Oh, I got leg room. Oh my gosh, wow. Wow, this thing sits back just right now. My shifter's really floppy. My shifter knob too, the, the threads are all gone on it. I'm not gonna do the short shifter thing. Some of them break. Pool ball! I'm gonna fix that by putting a fender washer on here. Rubber grommet, I think this was from a valve cover and I cut out the inside and I'll just lay that over it. Fancy! I'm going to consider myself lucky because I found a used set of these. They're Coney Yellows with Eibach ground controls. It's got the ground control top hats. They're an inch longer. Yeah, that sits uh, a little lower than I kind of expected it, but I'm not messing with it. I'll leave it right there. I'll probably like it just fine. I've had a leak in my trunk forever and I couldn't figure it out. I got a little water in here. That's a huge leak. Leaking up here too. Here's the stuff I got. And if I really wanted to, I could skim it over with another coat, but I think that's gonna seal it. When I bought the car, the passenger door lock didn't work. Now the driver's door lock doesn't work. There's gonna be some broken wires in the door. Look at that corner. There's nothing there. No rust, no flaking, no anything. Man, this is a solid car. The paint's trash, but this is a nice solid car. I should see some broken wires in here somewhere. There's one that's coming open. Oh yeah, there's a busted one right there. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of them. That, there's another one. There, it should be right. I'm gonna do the liquid tape. That's plenty way thick enough. If you can hear that noise. Pushing the clutch, no noise. Let out noise. That's an input shaft bearing in my transmission. I'm gonna rebuild this thing. Yep, there it is. That one looks like hell. That's my noise. This is one wheel wonder stuff. Junk. And of course, what would this job be without an M Factory LSD? I splurged. I'm going to need it someday. I just know it. I'll get two wheels to spin instead of one. Nice. It'll be a worker. I can smell it. But yeah, I gotta, I gotta pump. Oh! Oh! I got a stain on my clothes for life now. Okay. Oh! Sh I hate you! Jesus, man, I can feel it in my shoe. I don't have to worry about getting stuck in the snow. What a gutless wonder this car is. I'm gonna put a noisy fuel pump in my car. I got a Walboro GSS 342, 255 liters per hour. It should be enough for what I'm doing. I got jewelry, I win. Gee, wow, this thing sits a little different. Oh, the body's longer, I wonder why. Yo! I think somebody's been in here before. That's a strange possibility from the looks of it. In the hole. Well, here it is. The infamous eBay D16 Honda Civic Turbo build. So what exactly do you need for a reliable D16 Turbo?
Yeah, that ought to do it. Looks like Christmas, don't it? Let the games begin. I got a D16Y5 engine in here. I'm going to build on this piece of fancy. This is going to be my mini monster, I think. Now this should be fun. I got a block guard. It looks like a good one. Oh my god, this thing falls right in. I don't even like that at all. Try this again. Heard some good stuff about these. They're loose. It's loose. I can see daylight all the way around this piece of crap. People sell a lot of junk. Yeah, so I put this thing on here with studs. And it moves around. It's ridiculously stupid. They gave me this gasket too. This piece of crap that looks like it got dropped from a two-story window. Hope it don't fit. I gotta notch out the block. And the shoe fits. This thing doesn't fit. It hits my oil pan and it's not square up on the top. Cheap eBay turbo joke thing. Here's some more fun. It's a three inch pipe, two and a half inch flange. Well, there it is. So yeah, that's how it's gonna go. So I'm gonna cut it right here. I'm gonna tip all this up in the back. That flex pipe is probably going to be the low point in my whole exhaust bung I can actually use. And I got this as just a regular hose barb with a 90 here. I can tap it in. That's perfect. That'll work real good for me. You know, I got, I got a square hole for this drain. And this is round. There. That's a nice funnel. I found a guy on Craigslist to weld my bung onto my pan. Well, I got my block back. It's been uh, bored and plateau honed and decked. And I got some plasma molly rings here, some YCP pistons, Yong Chang Piston Company. That should work. Stick a 17,000th in here, see what happens. I'm just going to use a fairly slow speed and just go a little bit at a time. You want to make sure they're completely dry, they're, but they're completely dry and completely clean. Stick a couple drips in these holes. I want to make sure these rings fall on their own. I got King Racing rod and main bearings for this. And I want to take my 20W50 and I just want to lightly coat the skirts. I just want to lightly tap on this. I'm at about a thou and a half, which is right where I want it. So I got this set to zero. I want to stretch these 55 to 60 thousandths. I'm right at about 57, which is a good number. So yeah, the 55 foot-pounds are talking about, that's a little light. To just grab the top of the crank and make sure you can turn the thing. I can turn it by hand. So that's good. It means nothing's binding up. I'm going to run the stock oil pressure, so I'm not messing with any of that crap. I can't imagine why it would need more pressure. It is rather crude, but that'll help it drain out really nice. One assembled short block. Well, I decided to mock this turbo up. It's in there, and I am impressed because it does fit. I bought this thing used on eBay, 1320 Ram Horn, AC compatible. It's all a frolic and lie. These people are a joke. It should be farther that way and farther that way. So I guess I'm going to start on my cylinder head. I got all the machine work done to it. He did a four angle valve job on the seats. Put all new guides in it. Um, I bought a cam gear for it. I can just lay a file across here and look at how much farther it sticks out. That's completely wrong. And I'm going to take this to my machinist and I'm going to have a machine the same amount off of this nose. I got some uh, Bosch 1000cc EV14 injectors. They say Fomico on them. 
They're probably for like a cobra or something. So I'm gonna see if these fit. I just went through an O-ring assortment and um, the factory O-ring that came out of the fuel rail is on the top and I just put a smaller one on the bottom just to make up for the gap. And it looks like it's gonna fit just fine. Initially I put this big thick washer on here and this big thick O-ring I got from something. I found some O-rings off of I don't know what and that's what I got. I got the cheapest engine gasket set I could find on eBay. A JE Pro Seal head gasket. I got some ARP head studs here. Now I just need to carefully put this on. I got my camshaft sprocket back. Cut the back of it. This key don't fit quite right though. I got a Honda key. Here's the part number. So that one I got from the hardware store I just clamp these two together and I'm just filing this down ever so slightly so I can get the right profile and it's going to be a little bit deeper. I put the stock key in there and look at all that slop I got in there. Here's what my aftermarket one's like. Once it's in though, it's not going anywhere. So I'm probably the only guy that's got one of these aftermarket eBay cam gears that are actually going to work the way they're supposed to. Got a Fram filter because everybody talks about them. I got a pressure pot here. I kind of made this. I'm going to put about a quart of oil in this pressure pot. I got a regulator here. And I'm going to turn this up to, I don't know, 40 pounds. See, it's starting to come out, the rocker arms. Yeah, it's pumping through. Oh, that's it. Okay, I got nothing but air. It's primed. And they feel like death. You know, it's got like aluminum washers on it and they're crushing like mad. I don't like them. This oblong bunch of cheesy. Gee, doesn't that look nice? All I could find was zinc seven millimeters, and I had to, I had to rat tail them bigger so they they fit these bolts. Just so long as I can twist this, just a hair under a quarter turn, that's right. Six finger bronze over ceramic clutch. That's um, springless. Hopefully that'll hold up. And not slip well pretty much it's ready to go back in the car I tap four of these bolts out to 10 by 125 well that moves a whole lot less than when I got it I got the cheapest three core aluminum radiator you can find on eBay I had to make sure it had the one inch hoses but I got a hose kit it's all silicone and nice Bought some motor mounts off of eBay. This bolt's too small. Yeah, if I run a whole bunch of turbo horsepower on this, these, these tops, they rip right off. So I can't use these. That's the one mount that you definitely need when you're doing this. All this pock marking on it or whatever you want to call it. It looks like it was just old rusty metal that they just made work and wow. Well it's in and that turbo's crammed in there. I got the cheapest three inch eBay cat back exhaust I could find. I don't know how they make this stuff so cheap either. It's stainless steel. And it's mandrel bent so it, it seems like pretty nice stuff. And um, I found a resonator on Craigslist that I'm going to um, replace my catalytic converter with. Well, this is interesting. This God Snow fart can. I got three inch exhaust and look at this little tiny hole. It's about twice the size of my thumb. I'm gonna have some clearance issues with the sway bar. Yeah, it's a little short. Thankfully, I commandeered a piece of diesel exhaust pipe that was laying around. 
I found that has never been used. So I'm just taking pieces off of that to make this stuff work. We need to add a little chunk here. I'm going to go in the house now and wrap this. There, that'll keep a lot of heat out of my engine compartment and away from my air conditioning compressor. Well, my exhaust is the lowest part. But that's as good as I'm going to get it. Well, this is kind of interesting. I cut this chunk of diesel pipe off. And, uh... It fits really nice. I need this to be solid on the engine. It was vibrating like crazy when I hit the pipe. So I... I bolted this bracket right onto the tranny mount, which is basically the engine intake air temperature sender. This plastic that's on here is going to make it read too slow. So it's sticking out enough now to where this thing should read extremely fast, and that's that's what I need. Now I got this piece of ridiculous with the with the eBay turbo kit, two and a half inch. And the turbo inlet is three inch, so they want me to find a two and a half inch air cleaner because it didn't come with an air cleaner. And apparently, I'm supposed to stick this in here like this. So I went on eBay and I found this. This is this is a, a cold air intake setup, and it's for a Chrysler 300C, and it's three inch, and uh, it seems to fit a lot better in here. Yeah, I bought this kit too because I needed an air filter. Okay, this is a part where I get crap loads of anxiety because I get to start it and see if it runs. I guess it's intercooler time. So I got this intercooler for my with my eBay turbo kit. It's made by Amusa. Amusa sounds like a hybrid goat or something. So I didn't agree with that one. I got I got this one on Craigslist. Looks like it'll fit pretty nice in here somehow. And I want to go up that hole. So it fit pretty good. I'm just whacking off a little at a time until it fits. Now what? What now? Yeah, don't fit. Yeah, something's wrong. There's a big fat intercooler in my way. Well, I only had to take the bumper off about 20 times and trim a little at a time. I got it to fit though. It's fairly incognito. I'm gonna make this lower balance fit too. I'm gonna make a screamer pipe. I just bought some pre-mandrel bent pipe and um, these adapters came with that that knockoff Chinese wastegate. I'm gonna put this in the car one last time, make sure it's where I want it. I'm gonna wrap this thing. Yeah, look at this stuff. It's all coming apart. This cheap Chinese garbage. Looks itchy, don't it? Actually kind of looks cool with the flash on it. And there it is. The finished product. I put a turbo blanket on this thing too. So I found one on eBay real cheap. Looks kind of goofy, but um, that should hold boost really well. There, now it's worth more. I need to put some gauges in my car. A little on the rich side. It's time for the Honda to time. Those should be nice connections. Well, I put five gallons of E85 in it. Let's see if this um, base map's gonna work for this thing and uh, hopefully it will run. God, it's running. I'm gonna do the flex fuel sensor thing. 
I went on Rock Auto and got a genuine GM part. I don't know. It'll move around, but I think it'll be okay. Well, it's working. It says ethanol percent 61. Time for the maiden voyage, I guess. Okay, let's see what this thing will do. I found this uh, on eBay for a dirt amount of cheap. Couldn't believe how cheap it was. It's 24 millimeter. And this suspension is dialed in. This is a really common noise when you don't have a muffler. Don't really need one for a turbocharged car. We're at about 3,500. It gets really annoying. Basically what this does is it takes the frequency of the drone and it makes it travel up this pipe and then I put a stop on the end and the, the noise will travel back down into the exhaust and it's supposed to cancel out the frequency that's making the drone. I think I'm going to paint it. Okay. Hey, there's no drone. I can hear myself speak. Amazing. I'm going to do a rear brake conversion kit and uh, put some front brakes on it. I bought these brackets made by Scarebird, I think it's called. Now I can put the spindle back on. All this stuff, too, I'm going to have to check after I bleed the brakes and use the brakes. Well, there it is. I made it. sounded cool as hell especially when it backfired out of the exhaust that's what even my guy was saying he said the car sounds really good twin 5 -0. look at that 405 nice and smooth looks pretty <laughs> i gave you a little gift say cheesy <laughs> This is what I've been waiting for my whole entire life.
much boost I blew a head gasket. 24 pounds is too much for this thing to handle. I've made a cold air intake for this. And that should help keep it cool. I'm going to upgrade the studs. Probably about 35% more clamping force than a wimpy little 10 millimeter. Here I bought the Milwaukee step drill. But it looks like it'll fit. Put a little WD-40 down the holes just because I can. It should be nice and square. It doesn't move at all. As you can see, they're nice and parallel. Yeah, half inch is just right. I've been wondering who manufactures JE Pro Seal head gaskets. They make it sound like it's them. I just Googled this number and it came up with uh, an Athena head gasket. So Athena makes Pro Seal head gaskets. Okay, bye.